Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. You're going to want to invest in a USB flash drive to add more space to your classic system. There's only a couple things you need to get this done. Obviously, you need a USB flash drive. From what I've been told, the largest flash drive that's been used to do this is two terabytes, so the size of the drive will not be an issue. The other thing you need is called an OTG cable. And these cables are manufactured by third-party companies, so you won't find one that will be of great quality. But if you're careful with them, you'll get them to work just fine. What I use looks like this. I'll put a link in my description if you're interested in getting this kind of cable. It has one port for power and three USB ports for anything else that you want to attach to it. There are other OTG cables that you can use that only have one port that you can just use your flash drive with. The reason I have this one is because you can attach other things to this OTG cable like a mouse and a keyboard to be used on mouse and keyboard games, such as Doom or Wolfenstein 3D. The downside to this type of cable though is that it is the easiest one to break. The wires that are in between here are extremely fragile and if you're not very very careful with it you, they break very easily. I've had this one since probably January but I've also been very careful with it and I do have a backup just in case this goes bad. I haven't personally had any problems with it but out of all the cables this one has given people the most problem. So all you have to do to set this up is take the one end of your power cable like I said you're gonna run it into this port here and this which looks like the other end of your power cable will go to the back of your classic system. So to use a USB flash drive has become so simple since the first time it came out. It took three different versions of hack cheese and I think the first time I did this tutorial took me an hour to try and explain how to do everything. So now you just hit one button. Then you select the drive you want to export to. Then you hit OK. That's it. That's all you have to do for USB export now. We've got Super Nintendo games. We have Nintendo games, Game Boy, Genesis, N64 games. Those take up a lot of space. You won't be able to fit a lot of those on your classic without USB. We have arcade games. We have specialized games like Open Lara, which allows you to play a high definition version of Tomb Raider on your classic. Same thing with OutRun. More arcade games. And then we have a TurboGrafx-16 game. We have 82 games. And that comes out to 750 megabytes. So let's look at Dracula Rondo of Blood. Just this game alone is 280 megabytes. There's no way you'd be able to play this without using the USB host. So that is the benefit of expanding your drive storage by using one of these flash drives. So we're going to export these games over. All right, so it looks like all our games have been transferred over to our USB stick. So you're just going to take your USB stick and plug it into one of the spots. Plug this end into your classic console and then plug the power cord into this end. So let's head over to our SNES Classic and see if all of this worked. Alright, so here we are with our SNES Classic. It looks like everything transferred over great. Let's take a look here. This should be the Castlevania. It is Castlevania Rondo of Blood. So like I said before, there was no way this game could fit on one of the classic consoles. A couple things you want to make note if you're going to be doing this. You want to make sure your drive is formatted to NTFS. That seems to be the most reliable format method. Make sure your cable is getting enough power. It should be plugged into a wall outlet if available. If not, you have to make sure it's getting enough power. If it doesn't, then you won't see this folder structure. You'll just see the original games come on your screen. A lot of times the flash drive won't work because the data has become corrupted by removing it and inserting it into your PC too many times. So sometimes you can run a check disk on it to make sure that the files have been fixed and then you can try again if you have any issues. And that's about it. It is now that simple to add extra storage to your classic system. Just a push of a button. So make sure you keep coming back to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more stuff to show you on what you can do with your classic system. So thank you all so much for stopping by and watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you want to contact me outside of YouTube, feel free to use any of these social media platforms. Also, while you're here, why don't you check out some of the other videos that I put out, and if you feel like it, subscribe to the channel.